In this video I'll show you how to run and interpret process models 9, 10, 16 and 17. Those are moderated mediations with two moderators. This is model number 9. Both moderators moderate the A path. Model number 10. Both moderators moderate the A path and the direct C prime path. Model 16. Both moderators moderate the B path. And model 17. Both moderators moderate the B path and the C prime path. Those four models are closely related to each other, therefore it makes sense to explain them in one tutorial. How to run those models? We put in the model number. I would use bootstrap inference for model coefficients. And then we put in the variables, dependent variable, independent variable mediator, and the two moderators. Then to the options. I like to change the decimal places to 3 in the output mean center only continuous variables and change the conditioning values to minus 1 SD, mean and plus 1 SD. If you want to run it in R, this would be a possible R syntax. So let's start with the output. First I show model 9 and some of the things I will be explaining here will be relevant for the other three model numbers as well. We start with a model for the A path. In model 9 we have two moderations for the A path so we have two interaction terms. Interaction 1 with the first moderator and interaction 2 with the second moderator. And here we can see both are significant, so both moderators partially moderate the A path from the independent variable to the mediator. And here are the effect sizes for those moderations. Even though both were significant, the moderation by the first moderator is much stronger than the moderation by the second moderator. And since we have significant interactions, here we would get simple slopes for the moderated A path. Then the model for the B path and the C prime path. The effect from the independent variable, that's the C prime path, the direct effect, it's significant. And the effect from the mediator, the B path, it's significant too. Here under direct and indirect effects, we get the key information for the moderated mediation down here indices of partial moderated mediation. Those are what counts. If those are significant, we have a moderated mediation. If not, we don't have a moderated mediation. And it's possible that only one of the moderators significantly moderates an indirect effect. We don't get p-values, we only get bootstrapped confidence intervals. To see whether those are significant, we have to check whether the zero is included in the confidence interval. In those two cases, that's not the case. For the moderator 1, both limits of the confidence interval are negative, so it's significant. And for moderator 2, both limits of the confidence interval are positive, so it's significant too. So we have a partial moderated mediation by moderator 1 and a partial moderated mediation by moderator 2. Since that is the case, now we look at the conditional indirect effects. That is, indirect effects for different combinations of the first moderator and the second moderator. In both cases, minus 1 standard deviation, mean, and plus 1 standard deviation of the moderator. And again, we don't see p-values, we only get bootstrap confidence intervals. So we have to look at those confidence intervals in order to assess whether we have significant conditional indirect effects or not. And up here again, the direct effect, which is significant too. And for the A path and B path and C prime path, here we get robust results via bootstrapping. Again, since it's bootstrapping, we look at the last two columns with a confidence interval. The same for model 10. The model for the A path is basically the same. What changes is the model for the B path and the C prime path, because now we have two possible moderations for the C prime path. And here we can see both interactions are significant, so both moderators moderate the C prime path, that is the direct effect. Therefore, we get simple slopes for the C prime path in this case. Indices of partial moderated mediation, again they are significant, so we could look at the conditional indirect effects, and up here are the conditional direct effects, that is the direct effect at different combinations of the two moderators. And here the bootstrap results for the two regression models that process runs. Model 16, now we look at the moderation of the B path. So our model for the A path is really simple, just with one predictor. It's significant, so we have a significant A path. For the B path, we are interested in the two interactions. Here both are not significant, 
So both moderators don't significantly moderate the B path of our model. And in this case, this leads to the indices of partial moderated mediation being not significant, because in both cases, the zero is included in the confidence interval. Here we wouldn't even look at the conditional indirect effects. And again, the bootstrap results for the regressions. And lastly, model number 17. The model for the A path is the same simple model, but now the model for the B path and the C prime path gets more complicated because we have two moderations for the B path and two moderations for the C prime path. And since the B path is of primary interest, for us the most important interactions are interaction 2 and interaction 4, because those are the two interactions for the B path. Looking at the p values, we see we don't have a moderation of the B path, neither by the first nor by the second moderator. However, looking at the interactions 1 and 3, we can see we have a moderation of the C prime path. Here again the effect sizes of the moderations, and since we got significant interactions for the C prime path, here we get simple slopes for the C prime path. Indices of po partial moderated mediation not significant, so we don't have moderated mediation. Therefore, the conditional indirect effects are not of interest to us. And here we could see the conditional direct effects for different combinations of the two moderators. And lastly, the bootstrap results for both regression models. That concludes this tutorial about moderated mediation with Hayes process macro for the model numbers 9, 10, 16 and 17. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.